Yo yo, what is going on guys? It is your man D1, the only bad place right at you with another video of the Wolf Among Us series. So let's continue where we left off. So that was the ending of episode 2 where we left off. So let's continue with episode 3, a crooked mouth, and enough of my yapping. Let's do this guys. Our stories used to be so simple. We had a beginning, a middle, and an end. But ever since we moved to this awful city, everything's gotten so confused. Look, I didn't kill anyone. And I'm supposed to just believe you. Snow. I just want you to be careful. I almost lost you once and... I'm not yours to lose. I'm not going to be an errand girl for Crane anymore. She looks like Holly. It's not Holly, it's her sister Lily. She was looking to pay down debt. Eventually, the only people she owed were at her work. You know, that shithole club, the pudding and pie. My name is Nerissa. Well, Nerissa, I've got some questions. The open arms. Oh my god! What is it? It's Crane. That was how messed up the game is. Piece of that shit. Motherfucking piece of shit. Crane? Ugh. God, you think you'd know a person. Bigby, you have to tell her. I know! What's going on? What did you find up there? You know, other than the... Crane's the killer. What? Crane's Ichabod the killer. Crane? How do you know? Shit! Crane's been... <clears throat> oh, Bigby, calm down. Everything's going to be fine, okay? It's going to be fine. Will someone please Crane explain might be this her. to me? Crane might be following Snow. If I can find her, I can... God damn it! Okay, it's it's going to be okay. Where did you see her last? Did she say where she was going? She took Holly to the business office to prepare for the funeral. Lily's funeral? Yeah. How do you know? I was just at the trip trap, and I heard Gren telling some folks about a funeral at the Buckingham the Bridge. Trip trap? Are you drinking? When? Right now. They were on their way out. Oh, we gotta go there. Bigby. Wait. What? Snow's... Snow's been through a lot. There are things she doesn't talk about. Just please be careful when you tell her. And I know, I know, her. I know. But... I know. No, you don't know. You know how you felt when you saw that picture? Well, it's going to be much worse for her. Just remember that. All right. Sure, beauty, don't worry on it. You see, this is a theory, guys. These guys always inside there, the same exact guy, man. I don't know what Telte is trying to bring, but them. All right. Let's go. Truly close to. If you're here, then you were part of a very special circle. Don't interrupt. People she trusted and cared for. I won't um, offend you by claiming one day that that the pain of losing Lily will ever subside. I know as well no, as wait, you wait, what is that? it will never subside. But I also know that. That the memory of Lily will sustain I'll miss itself. worrying about you. And it will I'll miss our in fights. Time, I'll miss equal you. In strength to our mourning Holly. her loss. And it is in that spirit that I'd like to talk Let's about check this out. what you've all been so grateful for. Now you will never die from indifference 
or lead a tedious life. Stubborn and my sweetheart. Thanks for everything. How she carried a torch for the old ways, for Mm. tradition, for um, pageantry. And most of all, it seems how Lily loved, dearly loved her friends and family. You were a she big, bright, shining star in, good in this times and shithole of a town. I never met Lily. And I miss you already. What I've been told. I know in my heart mm. that she would have liked to be here today. All right, let's back up. And now we'll have our um, moment of silence. Thank you. Let's respect that. All right, let's go talk to Snow. Big B is... Everything okay? No, not you. Holly, it's... He wasn't fucking invited. Holly, wait. He has no right to be here. Not after what he did. Holly, I'm sorry, man. Holly, I'm sorry, but I had to come. You throw my sister down the witching well, and you have the nerve to show your face here? After you lie? After you promise me? Holly, wait. That was Crane. Just Crane. He disposed of Lily's body before Big B could do anything about it. I'm telling you the truth. Don't cover for him. But this genuinely wasn't his fault. You can't tell me Big B gives a shit about this. Sorry, I didn't know. I'm sorry, Holly. I, I didn't know he put her down the witching well. Big B cares, Holly. He's trying to help. And I'm sure he has a very good reason for being here. But this one isn't on him. Why are you here anyway? And don't say it's because you care about this. Everything okay? Pay my respects. I just came to pay my respects, Holly. I don't mean any harm. Oh, really? You have no respect you can pay. You don't care about any of us. Okay, okay, look. Bigby and I are going to have a little chat far away from the ceremony, all right? Look, Holly, I know how this must... No, you don't know how this must feel. You have no idea. Don't fuck anything up. Don't bother anybody. And when the first sign of trouble comes, and it will come because you're a goddamn walking trap for it, I want you the fuck out of here. You hear me? Of course. Of course. You won't even know I'm here. Let's just continue, okay? This is such total fucking bullshit. Let's go, Holly. It's your turn to talk. I know you didn't come here to pay your respects, so... Whatever it is, better be wildly important. It's been hard enough making a connection with these people. When you pull this kind of mm. stuff, it just resets the clock. Lily was, Lily Crane. was Crane's prostitute. I followed a lead to this shithole motel, the Open Arms. Crane had a room there, and he's been taking prostitutes, or at the very least Lily, and making her look like you while he was, you know. This is I don't even know what to say right now. I really don't. I'm just trying everything I can right now. I'm sorry, Snow. not picture it. I'm sorry, Snow. And I'm sorry I had to be the one to tell you. You're sure this is what happened? This is what he's been doing? Because please, Bigby, don't confuse things. Deposing Crane would be the Don't trust me. I thought you trusted me more than that. I do, or I want to. But you've got a hot head and a big heart, and sometimes that's not the best combination. Look, let's go back to the business office. I doubt Crane's there at this hour, but we need to talk, and this isn't the place. Snow? Nerissa? What is it? I'm sorry, but Holly's asking for you. Are they starting the burn? Yes. Everyone who spoke should really be present for this part. She's kind of distraught. You're not leaving yet, are you? Two minutes. I don't mean to be... um, No, I understand. No, I get it. Take your time. It won't take long. (sighs) 
How'd it go at the motel? Did you find anything? Yeah, I, uh, I did. It helped a lot. Thanks. Nerissa! Yeah, um, uh, coming! Constable? Wait, 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 easy now, girl. You know how this goes. The first thing in a visit, you say, how do you do? How no, it's not the time, man. Now is really not the time for whatever you jerk-offs are planning to do. Well, isn't that the thing of it? Plans. Except it isn't our plans you should be concerning yourself with. I'm still hurting, you know, from our talk in the cell. And I'll be honest, I'd love nothing more than to carve a sweet poem right into your face for the suffering you've caused me. But I am a professional, and we're here for a job. We'll snip to the chase for all sex. A little bird told us that you're fitting to go after Crane. And you see, we have an interest in that particular boy. So you leave Crane alone, and we'll leave you alone. Just take a little vacation. Fuck so off, man. You have three seconds to fuck off before this goes to a place you don't want it to. Oh, I don't have my stopwatch on me. So what's it gonna be? We have a deal? You leave Crane alone, and we leave you to yours? Brother? Just don't hurt anyone. Don't hurt anyone, D. That don't sound like a yes to me. Always wanting to do things the fun way. Ladies, gentlemen, invertebrates, please rest easy. This is not the hell is going on. What's happening? Very sorry to impose, but we only had a deal to work out with Bigby. And we're unhappy to report that things did not go as smoothly as planned. Bigby, what is he talking about? Never you mind that. It ain't any of your What deal? Uh, it's about they Crane. Want me to leave Crane alone. Crane? Oh, now you shouldn't have done that, old boy. Really. That wasn't right, telling everyone our dealings. What did I tell you? What did I say? Ali? You think you motherfuckers can come here uninvited? You think you can just fucking interrupt Lily's funeral? Calm down, darling. It was just a simple business transaction. You fucking freaks are not getting away with this. It's Holly, not worth it. Don't move. It's not worth it, Holly. They'll leave on their own. Yeah, let's spare all the fuss. It's just a dead hole. I'm gonna kill you! Holly! 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 I got it done! Alright, fuck off, man. You know we ain't thinking of shit, no. God damn it. The show is getting more and more messed up, man. The episode, like, seriously, man. Dr. Swinehart. I did as well as I could to take out the buckshot, but there's still some shards left embedded in your shoulder. They'll eventually warm their way out on their own, but until they do, you're gonna be sore. Bigby, Dr. Swinehart was appointed Fabletown physician for a reason. It's okay. There's only one thing you have to take away from all this. Take it easy. 
Damn, my man looks jack, yo. Don't go looking for any more fights. Keep strain off your heart. How's everyone, How's everyone else? else? They all make it. They're fine. I had everyone that got wounded sent home. Holly refused to let me see where she lived. So I left her and Grendel back at her bar with a dose of juniper and spring water. The titans, baby. They'll be fine. Just remember what I said. The stitches won't hold up if you continue to act like you normally do. <laughs> Everything in moderation. I'll and, try. Uh, eat more chicken. I'll try to. All right then. Very good. Business office. I know. I'll have to call you back. The town is starting to find out. Well, I'll leave you two to it then. Miss White, Big B. So, to recap... Crane watched me through the magic mirror uncover his room at the open arms. And then he smashed it so we couldn't use it ourselves to go after him. We know this because Buffkin was drinking in the rafters. That about cover it? And once he puts all the pieces back together, it'll be easy to catch Crane. So, I guess that's the plan, currently. Um, but I, any I other leads? Know. There's no other leads. This is it. Just wait for the mirror. Yeah. What the hell is going on? Just... I don't know what the Tweedles get out of this. I don't know if Crane sent them. I don't know if... I mean, this is gonna sound crazy, but do you really think Crane did it? Everything points to him. I get it. But do you really think he killed those women? Because it's just... It's incomprehensible to me. I'm not sure. I'm as confused as you are, to be honest. I don't know. It just doesn't make sense. He's... He was a conniver. A... A coward, a liar, and I'll always hate him for that. And I'll hate him for how he held me in his thoughts. But murdering prostitutes? Ow! Everything okay over there? Yes, Miss White. I just cut myself on a piece of the glass. Nothing to worry about. Thanks for tonight, by the way. That could have gone really terribly. I mean, even worse than it did. Anytime. Anytime. Can I, um, ask you a question? It's kind of personal. And I don't want to offend you, but after tonight... Sure. sure. It's just, when stuff hits the fan, like, like it did tonight, it feels like before we came to the city, it feels kind of like home. And I've heard it said that maybe in some tiny little bottled up way deep inside you kind of enjoy it when things go wrong because it gives you an excuse to just you know stop why bring this pretending. up why even bring this up i guess it doesn't matter uh guys we have a problem what is it i can't finish the mirror it's missing a piece Shit. What do you mean, missing a piece? Yes, it's... He must, have taken it. he must have taken a shard with him. Oh, I can't believe this. I saw Crane pick something up after he smashed it. I'm sorry, I didn't realize what it was until now. Well, the mirror can't work unless it's whole. Well, that's not entirely true. Or what, Buffkin? What? We sit around and wait until it mends itself? We have no idea how long that will take. We're just gonna have to do this the hard way. I'm just saying, waiting is an option. No. What's we the hard way? depend on the mirror. What exactly is the hard way? We'll look through his things, his desk, everything. He had to have left something that tells us where he's going. He's a neat freak, but he was never that smart. Smart enough to take a piece of the mirror. We can still solve this ourselves. I know never that- Never mind it... that. Come help me look. All right. Damn. Sorry on that, Buffkin. Alright. Yeah, should we? Alright. I'll just look around with snow. Let's see what you got. Oh, wait, let's talk to Buffkin for a while. 
Can we talk to him? Yes, we can. Hi, Mr. Bigby. I can still help you catch Crane, you know. Oh, yeah? Yes. I saw him jump on the telephone before he left. He called up somebody. He said he needed to see his witch, or that he would need to get to the witch for that. Whoever that is. His witch? Yes, it sounded like the one he got his snow blanders from. Hmm. He's them. It's not your fault. Look, uh, the whole mirror thing, it's not your fault, <coughs> right? Excuse me, guys, mm -hmm. so sorry on that. Yeah. It's not your fault, man, don't worry on it, all right? See anything you else? You didn't see anything else, did you? No, not, uh, not especially. All right, why do you, you stop? Try and stop him. What do you want me to do, yank on his hair? I'm only three feet tall. There are limits here. Okay, okay. I'll just see if oh, I can that was do good water, guys. Like All right. You do that. Now, there's so much a uh, story on this. I can't really commentate much. So, yeah, it's, oh, I'll have to try my best to see what we can do. Ichabod, Crane. All anyway, right, let's talk to Snow, see what's actually going on. Bufkin says that he overheard Crane call somebody before he left. Sounds like he's going to see a witch, or his witch, his glamour witch. Wait, really? None of the 13th floor witches would allow that sort of thing. They must be somewhere in the city. It's something, at least. Find anything? No, but there's enough notes and stuff here to take all night. Mm. Maybe check that stuff there. Which stuff? The... A... Mm. Where do we check his stuff? Let me see... All right, uh, all right, give me a sec. E, where do we check it? Is it here? All right, let's see what we got. Let's see the drawers. <laughs> All right, let's check out the the book. Let's see what's actually in it for what to see on it. There's a page here that was torn out. Oh yeah, Buffkin, do you know what was here? It's a ring, at least. Every magical item not retained in the armory is assigned to someone in Fable Town. It must be this witch he is going to see. Yeah, I only recently heard about this meeting. Why didn't you mention this before? No one asked me. Buffkin! <laughs> and I'm hungover. I'm sorry. He set the meeting at 2 a.m. Tonight. What's going on? Is the mirror fixed yet? Bluebeard, this isn't the time. Is the mirror fixed or isn't it? You called I me I called to... just to see if you knew where Crane could be, and that was it, okay? And I'm sorry I said anything more than that. Well, you did, and I know. The cat's out of the bag. So, can we find the dull pervert or not? I tried this to, but... This isn't your concern. Oh, the mirror no, can't be fixed. it can't be fixed. It's missing a piece. This is none of Bluebeard's business, Bigby. None of my business? Crane's the murderer. He escaped. It seems he spoiled your every attempt at locating him. And now it's none of my business? We don't know if he's the murderer. Oh, please. Of course he is. Look, this just isn't the time. He took a piece of the mirror so we can't use it. The only thing we know is that Crane's going to see a witch at 2 o'clock. A.M. or P.M.? A.M. Listen, Bluebeard, you're not a part of this. I don't think you're in any position to turn away help. Define help. Why do, Why do you, you care, man? Care about Why this? do you care? Why? I'm invested in this enterprise we call Fable Town. <laughs> Literally invested. Since it's mostly my money that keeps the whole thing running. And tonight I hear that Crane has been killing Fables? And there's no system in place to catch him? Look, 
We know that Crane is going to see a witch, and it's to acquire a magic ring. What's the ring? We don't know what it does or who it's assigned to since Crane tore its page out of the book. This farce was your ridiculous idea for a plan. I mean, who put you in charge in the first place? Fixing the mirror was the most logical You're thing. You're a secretary. He's the sheriff. And none of you were chosen to run this office. Who elected you to make these decisions? Nobody, but that Who doesn't... elected her to spend my money? Well, I've been doing that unofficially for I'm years. Heading to I'm city. heading up the investigation, okay, Bluebeard? That makes this a moot point. And somebody needs to run the business office while he does so. Well then, excuse me for having the Commonwealth in mind. All right, let's just look on the bright side. We know Crane is going to see the witch that's been supplying him black market glamours. Thanks to me. And <laughs> that he'll be there at two. So that gives us a few short hours to find out who it is and where they live and get them all at once. And a few shorter hours, the more you babble about it. We haven't no been problem. the ones babbling. 2 a.m. Piece of cake. Since Lily used the glamours, she'd have known who the witch was. And I don't think Holly's burned her things yet. It would probably have the address or a phone number or something. And Bigby is free to go there if he likes. But I think the question you should be asking is just what do the two Tweedles know about this? It doesn't matter what they know. After tonight, they'd never go to their office. They're not smart enough to try and go anywhere else. The Trip Trap is the better option to track the witch down. Mm. Has to be our focus. Look, I chances do both. are I'll have to swing by both anyway. No, so. chances are you won't have time. I don't really care what you two do. I'm going to his apartment. What? You can't just go up there. And why the hell not? We already looked for the key, remember? I don't know where it is. Then I'll pick the blasted lock. <sighs> I've wasted enough time waiting for the mirror to find him. I won't waste any more. You just can't go up there alone, all right? I've no interest in nicking his drapes, my dear, if mm. that's what concerns you. What concerns me is you traipsing through possible evidence. Oh, now it's evidence. We're not Before going anywhere. you had no interest, and now it's a crime scene. Bluebeard, you're not going anywhere. Really now? And what? You gonna stand here and babysit me? While the rest of your leads evaporate into mist? We have to find the witch, Bluebeard, since that's where he's going. Or the sniveling weasel chickened out. Never went anywhere, and is upstairs right now in his pitiful penthouse, crafting a fort out of couch cushions. <laughs> Look, this is how a smart person would do it. So this is how we're going to do it. Wherever you go, I'll go to the other. I don't like you going anywhere unsupervised. He's up to something. I don't know what it is, but we don't have the time to really worry about it now. All right. Where are you going to go, Bigby? Find a witch. So you leave Crane alone, and we'll leave you alone. I'd love to join you, but there's some business I need to attend to. Nah, no, I'm better off dealing with things alone. Holy shit. I don't need sympathy, and I don't need. Three you. options. Uh. I'm better off dealing with things alone. You know what? Holly's bar. The witch's identity must be with Lily's stuff. I should go see Holly first. Perfect. And I'll go to Crane's apartment. I'll check in with you later. I hope you know what you're doing. Let's just hope so. Shit. <laughs> all right you know what guys i think i'll stop the video right here if you enjoyed it please like and subscribe and i'll see you all in the next one